Hey, what's up, YouTube? How's everyone doing today? Um, another video here. Come here. Do marmoset monkeys make great pets? Hmm. I think they do, um, and for a couple of good reasons. Um, now, I'm going to preface this by saying I, I believe that um, not everybody can have a marmoset monkey, um, just depending on your lifestyle and things like that. But I think for the right people, they can make a great pet, and for these reasons. Number one, the companionship. These guys, they love attention and they love interaction. They're very curious and they're interactive, and they they always want to be with you. They 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 notice things like if you have on new jewelry, they'll notice that and they'll try to pull that off of you. And just it's little things that like almost human like interactions that they notice. Uh, that Okay, so now these guys, they do take a lot of time. As you can see, she's on my, in my, right there on my shoulder. They will take a lot of time and a, a commitment, but that's any pet for that matter because they, they can live up to, you know, 15, 20 years in captivity. So you have to factor that in when getting your marmoset monkey. Now, again, for the people who do the right research and they know what they're getting themselves into, um, you know, by researching, seeing the adults, because most people get these guys because they're like, oh, they're cute. You know, well, yeah, that's just like a kid. You know, in the beginning, they're cute. Then they grow up. Realize that it is a wild animal, but they still have wild animal tendencies that um, you would just notice. I even noticed it with her. And it, um, whatever you eat, for the most part, like if you eat healthy, I generally eat healthy. So a lot of, um, um, you know, pastas, um, rice, vegetables, fruits. They can just you can just feed them right right then and there so if you do naturally eat healthy it'd be like you know you're just giving them um your leftovers or so forth so um yeah also these guys will recognize individual people um so if you have certain friends that always come around um or if you have you know like a significant other um, they will recognize them if they see them enough. They will eventually want to interact with them. Um, they do really well with other animals, especially if they grew up with them. Um, they bond with them just like they bond with you. They love to snuggle, as you can see here. She's right in my hair, and she just likes to play with me. Hey. Yeah, she's being shy because the camera, um, she knows the camera because usually if I cut it on sometimes she'll jump at it um, or want to hide. So it's, it's kind of cute. Besides the actual purchasing of the monkey, which can run you anywhere between three to five grand, just maintaining is not all that expensive um, simply because um, they don't need vaccinations i mean uh there are people who do but for the most part you don't because they're going to be with you you know in a home east and and if someone tells you that they need to get all these vaccinations run far away from them because trust me they don't i've spoke to countless breeders um, um a bunch of them even veterinarians and for the most part um they really don't need vaccinations um, when i got her she was tb tested and micro tripped which I would say that's definitely recommended. So if you lose her, um, you know, at least you have some um, chance of getting her back or finding her. So last but not least, um, these guys love to play. And when I say love, I mean love to play. Um, you know how you have cats that like to play, you have dogs that like to play. No, these guys are on a whole nother level. They will just play, play. They could play all day as, as much as I wanna play. Um, you know, we'll just sit here all day and she'll just, or sometimes I'll just rub her belly. Look, like that? You like belly ribs, don't you? She loves belly, yeah, she loves those. Um, but yeah, so she'll just sit here all day or, you know, run back and forth on my shoulder. You know, when I was doing my research, I knew I was getting a wild animal and I knew I was getting it from a, um, um, a breeder, a licensed breeder who, who did hand feed her from birth. So... I did know that, you know, she, she from birth, she had great human interaction. But, um, you know, you hear all those stories online, you read about them, you're like, where people are like, oh my goodness, you know, my, my, my monkey's throwing poop at me. And just a whole bunch of just like, just 
to hear me, just hear me out. Don't listen to that stuff. The reason why is because you, you never hear all the good things that happen. It's only the negatives that happen in, you know, in general. Um, when, you know, when you, people do good deeds, you never hear about that, but you will hear about the negative people because they always, you know, they, they're the loudest. So just always remember that. Um, if she's trying to get her way, um, she'll, she'll try to bite me or, or, you know, something like that, try to assert her dominance. And then that's when I have to assert mine. Okay, guys, so for the right person, just to conclude this up, they can make great pets. As you can see, they're super snug snuggly, interactive, um, not super high maintenance, as you'd, not as high maintenance as you would think, at least. But yeah, so just, I just want to end on this note. Do your research. Make sure this is not the cuteness, the reason why you want it, because if that's the case, then that will, just like most things, it will wear down. The cuteness is going to wear off once you start to, um, you know, find out things that you don't like about them and you will because trust me just like anything else um you know it, it's great in the beginning but you will find about things that you didn't expect um and so definitely do your research and, and i'm happy with my my you know with getting her and i wouldn't trade her for anything else um and I'm, i'll definitely be getting a second one here soon um so yeah um definitely guys if you're new to my channel subscribe to my YouTube channel and also hit that notification bell so you can stay notified when I put out new videos because um, I'm going to be putting out a ton of videos of her. This is Vlog Granny Vlog and I'll catch you guys later.